Chris Denman, and we are live. It's a special one on two Whoa. interview with the folks from Shotspear. Introduce yourself. Let's talk. Hi, my name is Matt Morgan, and I'm with Shotspear. And I'm Heidi Brucker Morgan, and I am also with Shotspear. I noticed a similarity in your last names with yes. the last part of that. What's yeah, going on? Yeah, Morgan's there? Just, just a really common brother, really common. brother and sister. <laughs> really? really? The weird. thing you were doing on the way in would say. <laughs> That would not be good. We're from Sunday. California. We're quite liberal. <laughs> right. There. That's right. So. You, you no, liberal no. hippies and your incest. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> now, we are married. We were not married when legally? we started doing. Yes, legally. legally. We signed documents. And yes. Everything. When we started doing Shots Beer, we were not married. Mm-hmm. Um, we were just uh, Stupid. S- swinging. Oh. Swing- we weren't swingers, but, well, we weren't married yet, so we couldn't be, but. How was the anyway, How was the we were boyfriend and girlfriend, sort of. Yeah, that's right. Th- you're just banging people if you're not married, right? Right, like right. you're yeah. just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I feel like if you're married, you can be swingers, but if you're not married, you're just a jerk. Yeah, yeah. You're right? just loose. Yes. The wedding was <laughs> lovely. <laughs> the wedding was lovely. Where was it held? Uh, outside of in Malibu Agora. Lake Mountain Club yeah, in outside Agora of LA. Hills. We got married which in the round. I think which might is really have burned cool. down. I was literally oh, going to yeah. ask that, and I'm like a little. It sucked, but does that still exist? I I'm not. To- I don't think so. Thanks for changing the tone of the interview. I'm pretty yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's but it was beautiful. Yeah, it was lovely. Uh, it was in the round. In the round. And one of my best yes. men was a clown, like white face clown. All the whole nine yards, big floppy. You were gonna shoes. say blackface. I was like, dude, dude. dude. Uh, did you see what I just happened with Kevin Hart? Whispered, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that helped. Don't say that. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, face, big red nose. Yeah. Um, but I told. It was in the round for real. Yeah, yeah. It was. Yeah. It was out. Sweet. It was in the. You know, they have this kind of an outside area, and we had been working in the round a lot, like mm-hmm. in Spiegel tents. We were on. Had been on tour, and we were like, this is such a wonderful space. Yeah. Like we should. Maybe see if it could work. So we had a couple of old like circus trunks and as a decor, but it wasn't it wasn't like a circus wedding. Right. I'm doing air quotes on the radio. That's, right. Doesn't. That's weird. We're, we're quite normal. But um, uh, as people, we are. <laughs> we are. She's not wearing a wig right now. Uh, to a radio promise. interview. Yeah. <laughs> but we were, fun, no, We usually wear really costumes. Cool. I'm planning a big comedy thing in a giant tent here, and we're looking it's at this the thing. Best. It, and we're looking at this, thing and we're like. Do we do a pretty decent sized comic so we can get 600 more people in in the round? Yes. Or is that awkward to do comedy in the round? No, no you should absolutely yeah. 100% do it. Because you think so? Because, audience, but then you play up the circus y- aspect of well, it, right? Yeah. And the thing yeah. for us about it, we worked in the round quite a bit. It, the audience. And it's a jackhammer. Feeds. There's a jackhammer. Of the ambiance. Yeah, yeah. It is. They feed I off think the, though, off the They see each other. Yeah. So they, re- they respond to each other as well as to the performer and and. and, and the energy just like we've actually done shots beer in the round and there's a part of the show where the audience whenever actors do speeches the audience throws things at them like socks or they have to eat saltines or do something weird <laughs> and so in the round when yeah. the audience is throwing socks at the actor they're also pelting other audience members so then it just becomes a battle back and forth in that regard also so in the round shots beer has a yeah, not but to f- turn it back to shots. Beer. Well, not to Be promote it, what we're here to promote. promote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But for a stand-up comedian, I think that would be very challenging. I think it'd be fun in a great, too. in a good way. Yeah, and you could really do the cheesy stuff that kind of makes people remember it. Like, what was that? Yeah. It's like, and really, can, it's just it's just a stand-up. You can keep here. going like, oh, whoops, you're looking at my butt, and <laughs> you can just make lots of. I'm gonna write you're that down at my and butt jokes. It. That's yeah. great. No, so tell me about shots beer. How did it get started? You guys tour. And yeah, if you said it's a been a bit off uh, off uh, mic, you said it's been a fun, I guess, experience in St. Louis. I feel like people can get behind yeah. that. A lot of drinkers here. Yeah. A lot of yes. people that go tell their friends like, oh, hey, there's this thing. <laughs> and it's a good time. And in all yes. reality, they get treated to trained big time actors. We like I'm telling you that Westport Playhouse is very cool and there's a lot of cool stuff. A lot of times people in St. Louis are so focused on their little neighborhood where they can get like a dollar beer. Right. When they go see something like the thing you guys are participating in, it's almost like mind blowing because they're like, well, that was really good. And it's like, well, I've been acting for 20 plus years. (laughs) (laughs) I'd hope so. Thank you very much. Yeah. (laughs) And one of the things that we like, we love about the playhouse. I mean, there's many things to love, but there's signs on the door as you go into the theater that said, that say, please uh, feel free to bring your drinks inside the theater, which uh, in the American, I'm not going to spend too much time Jeez, on this. In American culture box, of arts, mm-hmm. uh, it's so tight. 
Right. It no is. drinks inside. No, you laugh too loud. Somebody shoots you a look. And sort of our our thing is to combat that. Mm-hmm. For Shots Beer, to create a, a non-passive theater experience, it's engaging, it's interactive, it's and it's also like quality uh, swordsmanship and acting and Shakespearean acting. But the Playhouse is a perfect fit in that regard, too, where they're like, bring your drinks inside, put yeah. your feet up, relax, have a good time. Don't. It's not stuffy. It's not a stuffy theater experience. Does that ever lend itself to, do you feel like you need like a bouncer at a show like that? Because once you kind of let the wrong people cut loose, well, then they do. I see it with comedy shows. Yeah. Like if I if I run something for somebody and it's a certain comic who I know is going to eviscerate anybody right. that's going to give them, I'm like, say whatever you want. <laughs> Dude, yeah, good luck. good luck. But there's other comics that are so act driven. Right. Uh, and I know this is maybe a weird comparison, but I feel like it translates. But does that open up the door too much at times? You, like sure, question. but in the same regard to the comic that you're like, I, they can handle and they will just mm-hmm. annihilate anybody that goes to the wrong. We have the same set of skills. Yeah. So we have within the five actors on stage, we have uh, we're all classically trained in Shakespeare in some capacity and stage combat and all that stuff. But Heidi and I have worked in the circus and we MC and host and do a lot of comedy and we do a lot of like family stuff, but we also do a lot of like late night adult stuff. You can think on way, your feet. Yeah, we work in Las the, Vegas. The, the way the show the is strip. structured <laughs> is is such that we can, you know, handle folks. Right. You're not. And first of all, if you find your way to a show at the Westport Playhouse and are paying to see this experience, maybe you're right. not the person that's going to act. Yeah. Well, we started. There, we did have a, Go a on. very I like where this is going. rowdy <laughs> audience happening. last week. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, Saturday. Pay no mind. Saturday. Speaking of this, thinking on your feet, we're going real DIY today just because I had to throw this together. So I like it. If there's photos being taken, it's because I want to help promote that. Good. Oh, See, that's why I put doing? my Juliet yeah. hair on yeah. because I I, we usually wear costumes. Like, we oh, <laughs> Check out these two. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put it on b- yeah, Bumble for couples. Um, but they... <laughs> No, but it's gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make it. It is now. It is yeah. now. It's it's That's couple couple bumble couple of bees. That's what it is. No, I don't. I don't know about that. But oh, last week, last week, remember? They were in the. There was there was. Well, Thursday and Saturday. Thursday, yeah. there was that. It was like this was guy. Hol- he was there. Party. It was a holiday party, and nobody knew <laughs> what I, they were doing. <laughs> can I read you a text from last night? May I? Yes, sure. please. So I had a meeting last night. We oh. usually we do a weekly Thursday night comedy show. Everybody that comes is fun. You have fifty to hundred people. It's at a chill bar. Yeah. I don't. Basically, at the beginning, I was like, if you're talking or acting up, like just go downstairs. Like nobody's here to throw you out. Yeah. But you're here to watch comedy. Like, let's just have some fun, right? Yeah. So I'm not there. <laughs> I do the radio show and this podcast and everything with my partner, Travis Terrell, who smokes a little marijuana uh-huh. here and there oh. yeah. uh, and doesn't really like uh, going after people. So here we go. Um, this is going awkward. I'm like, what? <laughs> it says, a Christmas party with a bunch of emojis. Okay. <laughs> I'm too high for this. <laughs> Granted, I'm in a meeting with a very imp- it's an important meeting, but I'm just like, hey, this is our thing. we got to make sure it goes well. I go, what? At the show? Yes. So I said, oh, boy, a bunch of frat dude goobers freaking out during the middle of their sets. It's just like I'm managing a restaurant again. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, at least the comics are good, and I trust all. I'm like, eh, I'm not really worried about the comics. He goes, well, this is going really bad. <laughs> oh, no. It's worse, and I hadn't answered. Uh... John cut his set short. That's a comic who's very strong. Who's <laughs> like I'm out. Also like of a six three, like two hundred pound dude. Like you know, he's not like afraid. You know. uh, bar party continues to be an ass. Uh, F them. This is rough. There you go. So we're right there. We're Holiday there. parties, bachelorette parties. I tell well, you. we need your ticket money. Get it together. Well, I, ca- I walked out and I wear my dress is blue and I do mm-hmm. have a blonde hair long thing happening, and. She's like, Elsa, Elsa. And I said to her, and I was like, I'm shutting this down right now. I was like, you you did not buy tickets for Frozen. This is a Shakespeare play. And that's you why. You dropped that. Yeah. Nice. And she's like, oh, oh. But she was there with douchebag number one. Mm-hmm. And he was like, he because we do pull up an audience member. 
and it's so fun. The the and we have had the best audience members, and they get to be a part of the show, and we give them a script. And last you know. night we picked a seventy seven year old guy. It was amazing. Anyways, moving on. Okay, that. we'll get to that in a second because yes. that was amazing. But yeah, so this guy's like at the end. Of the, he's like, "Why didn't you pick me? Why?" Are you pick-? And he, and he actually put his beer on the stage because he was in the front row. And the stage goes and he goes, "Beer me, man! I'm done." And I go, "I'm. We're not servers. <laughs> we're actors. We're doing a show." Right. Like, but we can do that. Yeah. That's the thing is that if we were properly doing a, you can't break he, character. Yeah, if you well, if you can, can. No, 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 not, not, if we were doing, uh, if, if we were the RSC, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'd be like, I guess, yeah. yeah. But so you know, but you I can break and asked. go. I'm not your server. I'm I'm Juliet. Okay, moving on. And then we, but we really, but by the end, I feel like maybe yeah, him accepting accept everyone, <laughs> but quiet it down, and yeah. because the play does get like oh. Oops, it's sad now. Yeah. Like People it does. Die. We try right. to, we try to, and that's the big thing too, is we create this rowdy atmosphere with the drinking and the interaction and the wheel of soliloquy and blah, blah, blah. But the last third of the play, we try to kill him with the play. Yeah. So suddenly people are like, ah, and then everybody's drunk and kind of leaning forward. Like, oh, and listening she's crying. And oh, he's crying. Characters and they're real tears. Romeo and Juliet, and they're like, well, man, that was. I think I actually just watched Romeo and Juliet. I, like I watched a ninety-minute Shakespeare play. Like truly a dark comedy. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Little bit. yeah. yeah. Tragedies are always. We do. We do Macbeth. We've we've got Othello. People are like, you should do the t- the Taming of the Shrew. And mm-hmm. I'm like, it's already it's a comedy and it's already not funny. Yeah. So we're probably never gonna do that. Right. We like to take the dark ones and they're always easier to you know. Put a spin. Yeah. yeah man. It, that's why comics are so. You know, Okay, so where does this weave in with, I mean, are there auditions happening? Do we want TV on the horizon? Has there been, Gosh. So far, like, how does how does this work? Because it's impressive, because yeah. I know, again, like, just if we go to the comedy world, I know people that have, you know, done series and stuff like that, right. and they'll go do a play to hone up their acting and all those things. Like, do you look at somebody trying to just go straight to TV and be like, Psh, not the same thing that I do? Does that make sense? Well, sure, and we've... I mean, we're actors, so we've struggled yeah. with that. I lived in New York for a long, long time. Heidi lived in L.A. for a long time, and we, you know, we tried to play that game. I've got, mm-hmm. a, uh, I've got a really impressive uh, commercial reel from my early thirties. Very nice. <laughs> um, but it didn't necessarily take to us or us to it. It yeah. just wasn't a natural. You say it like it's gone. Like you get. That's what's crazy about but that we, because you're out there. Do, maybe yeah. you're not actively looking for something like that. No, like you don't want to be on a. You don't want to be a dead body on a CBS crime drama. Yeah, we no. we moved to Las Vegas, no. so right. Yeah, we moved to Vegas. <laughs> yeah, and we're you know we were we 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 worked too much, and and the focus of our life can't be about, you know, if you want to do that, you, you, that's got to be the focus. You have to send those Very emails. True. You have to have yeah. those headshots. You got to be in that right class. You got to be in that right this that. And for us, touring the. The United States and uh, the surrounding world doing uh, comedy and circus and performance um, is and and being hired to be in people's things and to produce self-produce, which we do a lot of. That's that's our career. That's our job. That said, it puts me with the people. Yeah, I need. I like that. I like to be with the people. That That said, said, how are we failing? I'm not. What? (laughs) Having said that. You need more coffee. Um, yeah, no doubt. No, but I think Shot Spirit, we have talked about doing like a, a special, I think it wouldn't work necessarily as a, a series, but like as a quarter, like a the roast, like mm-hmm. a special kind of a thing. And because people do, like, stand up, it's same in stand-up, people who have a television special or have their own, they're automatically going to sell a million more tickets right. when, they're, when they are on the road. To, yeah. So, we yes, I think Shot Spear specifically is, it's a play. So it's a live show. And yeah. plays never do well right. on ca- I mean, But there's adaptations of but, books. And a, po- and they, a podcast I, can turn into a series. Uh, yeah, a so I think it could be fun do the, to do something. NBC or something does those musicals, the live musical. They did yeah. Like, yeah. Superstar and what so, David Allen Greer was in. Yeah, one, right. Lion or, King maybe or... Um, they did. So. What's they the do Lion King. Yeah. They, yeah, John Legend. John did, Legend did. They did. did. Superstar, and they did. So, oh yeah. Yeah. That, so because cool. it because yeah. that yeah. reaches more people, mm-hmm. and then people go oh, and or even like America's Got Talent with the the circus shows. If you've seen oh, I saw that person on America's Got Talent, and oh, right. and now they're in this show that's live. It's a credit. It's a cre- It's something yeah. that One there's the yeah 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 because not. Sure. 
the, the magical thing about live entertainment is it only happens in front of your face and it will be different Such tomorrow a nice and the next day. Too, yeah. yeah, yeah. But there is that value of sort of being in that other medium that gives it the exposure and mm-hmm. reaches a different audience too. So that's wild. There's a bunch of those options. Totally out there, so. do it. No, you guys find Pidget. You guys are find all that over agent it. or that manager. So find it. How do we uh, <laughs> how do we come hang out tonight and tomorrow at the Westport Playoffs? Come on out. Our, the shows are at 8 o'clock mm-hmm. uh, tonight and tomorrow. Tomorrow is our last show And set. you're going back to Vegas? Yeah, we, we go, go back, back to, to Vegas. Half our cast is uh, lives in New York City, uh-huh. and the other half lives in Las Vegas. So we go our separate ways. Very cool. Um, yeah, after, you can do uh, tomorrow, Metro but, Ticks. There's a yep. uh, vodka is a t- uh, $5 discount code. So you get $20 no, tickets. Literally. Or just yeah. walk up just and say away. vodka. We'll pour some in your mouth. We have a little, yes. We do a little pregame before the show. I like that. Um, and then depending on how the audience is at intermission, we continue to pregame, or we say, "Hell no, we're not feeding those people any more alcohol because they are doing just fine on their own." <laughs> yes. Right. Twenty-one and up. Twenty-one and up. Yes, yeah. yes. Sometimes we have chocolate vodka. What was it? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Students, 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 students and yeah. military, I think. Yeah. Yeah. If, okay, if you get there, you get there at, at seven, seven, which is worth it, because then you get there, you have a little. Well, yeah, you gotta settle in. Yeah, settle in, have a little booze, have a little Listen sushi next then. door. Mm-hmm. Watch Romeo walk around with no pants on. Now it's... we are talking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that, that's a good like catchphrase for me at the end. You guys say something interesting. I finish on now. We're talking. <laughs> And then like, awkwardly, oh, were we not I talking? Like kind of just dropped immediately <laughs> into a radio voice. Right? Kind of like, uh, yeah. The how we're talking. We're talking. See ya. 